Hello guys, full time at the Emirates Stadium, Arsenal 3, Bodo Glimt 0. I wasn't actually there tonight, I am uh, in central London because I'm filming. Look, that's, uh, that's, the, that's Tower Bridge out there and the River Thames. I'm filming at the Tower of London tomorrow, which is quite cool. But we're starting very early, 5 or 6 in the morning, so it meant that I um, couldn't get there for the game tonight. But an interesting one to watch. I mean, <clears throat> it's so funny, you know, I follow these games as I'm watching them on social media and I saw people saying, oh, Arsenal have lost control of the second half or why is X, Y or Z player coming on with Sunday's fixture coming up? I think even in, uh, you know, a relatively routine 3-0 win, as supporters, we find reasons to be anxious. Um, I found that a pretty relaxing watch. You know, Bodo Glimpse were, we were warned that they would be a test, that they play quite an unconventional style, quite intense pressing. I thought Arsenal handled all of that superbly, really. I mean, you know, they held them their opponents at arm's length for the majority of the game. So I'll give you a few quick thoughts um, running through the team. I mean, the, one of the, th the things is that there were a number of senior players out there from the start. When I say senior players, I mean first team players. Gabriel played as he's played every game this season. Granit Xhaka played as he tends to play every single game. Gabriel Martinelli played in the front three. That is a function of you know a relatively slim squad and one that is stretched by a couple of injuries. Um, I think for centre-backs, it's not so much of a concern to rack up a lot of minutes, but in some of those other positions, you know, you do begin to worry about the impact that could have. Martinelli's played a lot of football already and, you know, Emerson throws still a while away. So, um, yeah, I'm curious to see how Arsenal handle that as the competition goes on. January window, I do think, could be important in adding some depth. Uh, in goal was Matt Turner, didn't have a lot to do, got his clean sheet. When well, he did have to make saves, he made a couple of good ones. There was one in the start towards the start of the second half, very good low save. Um, his passing, as we knew, is the sort of weaker side of his game. And I am curious to see stylistically how that develops. You know, he's being asked to do something new. Don't put a limit on somebody's potential. He may well develop that skill, but it's not something that's usually developed at this particular point in time. The back four... You know, some good performances in there. Tommy Asu, good to see him from the start again. Kieran Tierney, I thought, was excellent, particularly in the first half. Really stayed to claim for a place in the team on Sunday against Liverpool. That's going to be a big decision for Arteta between Tierney and Zinchenko. Um, Fabio Vieira, I thought, was very good tonight. Great assist for Rob Holding for Arsenal's second goal. Got a goal himself too. Might have had another. Hit the bar in the first half. He's a guy with plenty of goal threat. He makes goals, he scores goals. You know, he's not quite like Martin Odegaard. I think he is more of a penalty box player than Odegaard is. And I found it telling that when Odegaard came on tonight, you know, he played the deeper of the two uh, in that kind of left eight position. And interesting to see Vieira and Odegaard on the pitch together. You know, is that something we might see more of in future? When you look at their ages, when you look at their potential, you have to think that's a possibility. I really like Vieira. I've seen him compared to Bernardo Silva. And in terms of the positions he can fill on the pitch, I understand that. I genuinely think, and I sort of take no pleasure in saying it because he's not a player I particularly love, but I think there are shades of Bruno Fernandes in terms of his understanding of space in the final third, the runs he makes off the ball, the way in which he's able to find little pockets inside the box, outside the box, and the numbers he produces. They remind me of Bruno, and I think he's got a similar killer instinct, a similar willingness to be a main man, a goal scorer, a match winner. It's Listen, it's no great prediction to say a £35 million player might turn out to be all right, but I have said since I first watched uh, bits and pieces of Vieira after, after we signed him, admittedly, I didn't really know the player prior to that, I really think he's got so much talent. And, you know, the Europa League is a perfect way for him to adapt to playing for Arsenal and playing with this group of teammates. Uh, Eddie Nketiah got a goal. Classic Nketiah goal, really. Reacted so quickly to stab that home on the rebound. Probably should have had another after a brilliant through ball from Odegaard. But, you know, showed that he's lively, showed that his movement's very good. He'll be pleased to be on the score sheet. Reese Nelson, that's like getting a player back, to be honest. I mean, 
he's been away so long, you kind of forget he's our player and he's missed so much football at the start of this season. But this is a guy who was playing in the Dutch league, really you know, improved as the season wore on, went very deep into the Europa League. I think he could be pretty useful in this competition and in those wide areas we are a little bit light. We don't want to see Martinelli playing every single game. It's just not feasible. It's just not viable. As for the subs, they honestly don't worry me that much. I think you know, Arteta's taking advice on this from highly qualified people who will be talking about periodization, keeping people at the peak of their games. Uh, you know, Gabriel Jesus came on and helped produce a fantastic goal with a brilliant assist. I, I wouldn't want to be robbed of that moment. You know, I think Arteta is very serious about this competition. The players are very serious about it. They want to win it. They want to win every game. And they're going to use all the players at their disposal to help them do that. A lot of players were rested tonight. A lot of players didn't play that many minutes. Arsenal go into uh, the Liverpool game on Sunday off the back of two three-goal wins, so feeling pretty good about life. Right, that's your lot for now. Hopefully I can upload this and the hotel Wi-Fi is not too bad. And I'll be at the game working on Sunday, so I'll speak to you after that. Cheers. Bye-bye.